Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Mavic Air 2 sensor issues. Uh, sometimes I was experiencing negative, negative values on my uh, altitude and the sensors would turn off arbitrarily at 40 or 50 meters for 10 or 15 seconds. So I decided that uh, they needed calibrating. Well, how do you do that? Well, you use the DJI Assistant 2 program. And we're going to get into that. Okay, stay tuned. So let's get into it. DJI Assistant 2 program. Uh, it's used to calibrate your sensors. I'm going to show you a slide or two here about uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, also, you might have noticed the hat. See the hat there? Okay. Uh, we bought a house. We got a hat. Go to Paris, go to Florida, get a t-shirt, buy a house, you get a hat. And the beard, I'm just too lazy. Too much work to do. Just haven't bothered to shave yet. But I will, I promise. So let's get into it. I'm going to put up some slides what I'm talking about because I had a few issues with the sensors. Uh, I'd be flying 30, 40 meters up and all of a sudden the sensors would turn off. I'll show you that slide. And I'll show you another one of a before and after takeoff. And that it, I'm about 1.8 meters above the ground and when I'm coming down to land it says I'm at zero and if I let it go it kept on going negative so the calibration was off okay so there's a video out there by uh, Big Ball Vlogs yeah Big Ball Vlogs who mentioned the DJI Assistant 2 program to calibrate the sensors and it kind of rushed through it and I, I attempted it once and I I messed it all up and I didn't know what I was doing. I did it again and I messed up again. So I finally got through it that I didn't mess too much of it up and I recorded it as best I could. And I'm gonna run that clip in its entirety here. And uh, at the end of it, I'll have some more comments. Uh, the main thing is when you're doing this calibration for your sensors, make sure you have a full battery. It could take you 10 minutes or more. Be sure your USB-C connection cable is about three feet or more long because you have to move your uh, drone towards the computer screen and away from the screen and make sure that your DJI Assistant 2 program is full screen when it's running and uh, be patient and uh, sometimes it'll tell you to point and point and aim the camera around and sometimes it'll tell you to move the craft around so you have to watch out for that I've done it three or four times and a couple of times it's had me do both and sometimes it's just had me point and shoot so it, it all depends but I'll come back at the end anyway so here's the clip so let's go with it uh, DJI Assistant 2 when you open it and your Mavic Air 2 is connected to your computer use a longer uh, USB-C cord. You just need one at least uh, three feet long. Um, so we're going to go through the tutorial and you'll see here it's uh, the Mavic Air 2. Click on that and here we have calibration. You have the log, export calibration and simulator. I'm going to go into calibration and this is a tutorial and uh, don't get fooled by moving your craft around. This is just a tutorial and it's basically you have to hold your uh, the Mavic in front of the screen and you have to have full screen because you're going to be following blue squares around the screen. Okay um, and the next one shows you how to do it facing forwards and how to rotate your craft when it tells you <clears throat> and to make sure you have a long tether okay so calibrate now down here in the right corner and it says hold the aircraft with its forward vision cameras facing the screen adjust the distance between the aircraft and the screen to align the red boxes with the green so we pick it up and we face the screen and they've aligned so hold the aircraft and Follow those blue, there we go, up 
to the right, to the right, down, down. See, I'm following that blue square. It's coming to the left on the bottom. You have to move it very slowly. Here we go. Two more to go, and we fill it in. Now it says, move the aircraft slowly, adjust the screen, moving it back a bit. There we go. Now we're going to follow it around again. So we're going to go there, there, top, right, down, 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 and across to the left. And we keep it as still as we can and we just point it. Now we're going to forward calibrate. Okay, start that one. We have to click it and we go start. Now, face it towards it. Face the downward towards it and move it back out to get it to where it's going to There we go. And we're going to follow this around. Point it up, up, to the right. Now, the bottom sensors are facing the screen, and the front camera is facing to the left. We're just following the blue squares around, and it's coming back to the middle. Two more to go. Two. Move it back again. It's kind of there we go. Let me do it again. Just follow the screen. Over to the left. Whoops. Remember to keep the craft as still as you can. Now we're going to do the downward camera. Calibration complete. Now we're going to do the rear vision camera. Here we go. So we're going to hold with the rear facing. The rear is facing it. There we go. And we're going to follow it up to the top. And you have to go through these, I believe, twice in each segment. And we're going to the bottom right, going to the left. Oops. And then we back out again. Coming further back, about two feet from the screen now. There we go. And from this distance, we keep the craft at that distance. One was a close distance, and one is farther back. And we just point to the blue dots. We're in the far right corner, coming across the bottom. And we just twist the craft. Up, up. And 
and it's complete. And it's calibrating 90%, 100% is successful. Put the craft down. You have to restart the craft. So we just turn the craft off. It's turned off and we're 100%. Okay, so I quit the program and we're done. I'm just going to unplug it from the computer and I'm going to untether it and I will restart the craft again. As we've done here. restarting it and let it finish its thing and then we're done I'm not going to hook it up to the controller or anything but that's that's how we do the complete sensor calibration okay thank you so how was that uh, yes it does take some time and it's a little finicky and if you have shaky hands, it might be a little awkward, but the slightest movement uh, can throw it off a bit. Um, sorry that it wasn't the brightest, and maybe it should have been taking the video from the other side of the computer so you could see the little demograph in the corner. But you get the rough idea. It takes two scans for each distance. So basically, you're close to the computer, and then you come farther away from the computer and do it again. So that's getting a distance thing. So you do that for the three sensors, I guess, and, uh, and then it's fine. Uh, did it help? Uh, yes. And I did a flight the other day after them, and this is what happened uh, when I landed. And I hand caught it, and I was about a meter and a half, 1.8 meters above ground, and it was bang on. Uh, so there you go. And I also did a return to home uh, from turning my uh, controller off and uh, the the landing was much better than it was before so I'm happy with that uh, the, the only thing that I am a little disappointed now in is and I'm trying to figure this out is when you change the home point okay if you're say you're out in the bike and you track yourself down and you go a half kilometer down a path and you change the home point to where you're at like the controller, it only uses GPS, so it could be out up to five meters. So you just have to be careful of that. So I wouldn't want to be in a canoe and rely on it coming right back to you. Uh, it'll be close, and then it's just a matter of clicking the button, uh, the return to home button, and it'll stop, cancel it out. Okay, um, uh, the only issue with that is if you're flying around in a canoe and you hit return to home or you lose connection uh, 11 seconds later it's going back to where you started okay so just be careful of return to home and where you're flying okay uh, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, again a big shout out to Big Ball Vlogs for opening my eyes to this I didn't even know this tutorial program this sensor calibration program was even available and uh, it, it helped me a lot so i'm glad for that uh, okay so hit the like hit the subscribe we'll be back with more videos the next one i think i'm going to talk about is the h264 and h265 for all us guys that don't have the money to buy new stuff i've got a great program that will convert it very quickly from 265 to 264 so if you want to watch your uh, 4k video on your older computer i got just the program for you stay tuned